Good morning, everyone. It is day two of the Stay Home Reading Rush. So first I want to give an update on my reading. I have finished Hurricane Kiss by Deborah Blumenthal. So my overall thoughts on this book, it's an okay book and I think it's a pretty good book to use for a readathon. It was a pretty good pace for me. I was able to read through it fairly quickly. I think I was also able to read through it quickly because there's not much like to think about with this book like I just read and I go along with the story whereas like a fantasy I gotta imagine the world and all that stuff but thinking about the book itself it's not the best book in the world but I did still enjoy it. I was looking at some reviews on Goodreads because that's what I do when I finish reading a book sometimes. I agree with what some people were saying that it made no sense that during the middle of a hurricane, whenever one of them heard a noise, they would go out and run outside and figure out what in the world it was. And I'm like, just just stay inside. What are you doing? And then again, I've never had to live through a hurricane. So I would think you would be thinking a little bit irrationally because of fear and whatnot. But I also find that Overall, like the writing of this book, it's more telling and not showing. I liked the secrets that were being revealed because I felt there was a lot of tension between River and Jillian, but I felt that most of the secrets were revealed through dialogue. Some of them were revealed through like flashbacks, and I liked seeing that because... And I liked seeing that, especially for River, because it put me right inside what he was thinking at that time, and I liked seeing that. But when he told it through dialogue, a bit of that was lost. So I think that's the main gripe I have with this book. It's not a bad book at all, it's just an okay book. So now that I've finished Hurricane Kiss, I'm going to move on to Vicarious by Paula Stokes. I've read Girl Against the Universe by Paula Stokes, and I've wanted to read one of her other books for a very long time. So I've had this book on my shelf for a while, so I figured now is a great time to go ahead and read this. So I'm not 100% familiar with what this book is about, but from what I have read on Dust Jacket, it's about these two sisters that act as like digital stunt girls or something, and then one of the sisters ends up getting killed, so then the other sister, of course, tries to figure out what happened to her and who murdered her and whatnot. So it sounds really interesting, it's also not a very big book, so I think it'll be another good one for the reading rush. So first I think I'm going to do a bit of homework and I might do some reading before my 3.30 Zoom meeting for work, and then we'll see what happens after that. So far these past few days I've been finding I read after 7 o'clock. Almost like 7 or 8 o'clock is my cutoff for doing other work. So I think that's kind of what I'm going to try to do and I think that's what I'm kind of trying to do moving forward so I can continue to read as much as I really want to. So onto the book I've been reading. I've been reading Vicarious. I took off the dust jacket because it was bothering me as I started to read it. I haven't gotten too far in this book. I've gotten about 100 pages in and I've just gotten a little bit past the setup of the story. So this story follows two sisters named Rose and Winter. Rose is the older sister, Winter is the younger sister. They've been through some pretty traumatic stuff throughout their lives. They were orphaned when they were very young and now they live with this man named Gideon who takes really good care of them and they help him with his like tech company which I forget exactly now what it's called but he has this system that is called VICE which I forget what it stands for now but it's basically a system in which you can relive someone else's experiences so for example if someone were to film themselves while skydiving you could go ahead and relive that but it's not even just like you're watching it and experiencing it, but you actually feel the emotions and whatnot that they were feeling when they were doing that. So it's pretty cool. One thing I also didn't know before picking up this book is that Rose and Winter are actually Korean, which is really interesting considering on the front cover, I don't think this model really looks Korean to me at least. So I thought that was interesting because I didn't know that, that they were Korean and I find that very interesting that there's some diversity in this novel that I wasn't expecting. That's awesome! But yeah, I've just gotten the setup of the story and we've just found out unfortunately that Rose is most likely dead, unfortunately. So Rose and this other guy that also works for Gideon are trying to figure out what happened to Rose. There is actually a recording of her possible murder, so they're trying to go off of that. 
I really say, like seeing Winter's character. There's still some mystery about her that we haven't quite figured out yet. I really love the bond that she has with Rose. It's a really, really strong sisterly bond that I love seeing. And Jesse is also a really good friend to Winter. He really cares about her. I love the relationship so far with Winter and Gideon as well. He's very much like a father figure to her. Even though she never really had a father, he's the closest thing that she's had to a father figure. So I really like seeing that. I really like Winter's perspective. She's a very interesting character. She's got some mystery about her. She definitely suffers from PTSD because of a lot of stuff that's gone on in her past. And I like seeing the representation of anxiety. I think Paula Stokes does a very good job of that. I remember that she did that in Girl Against the Universe. She showed anxiety very well, and I really like the way that she portrays it. And one thing I wanted to mention before I put down this vlog is that yesterday I was mentioning that I was going to order some books. Well, I ended up ordering The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which is the new book coming out by Suzanne Collins that takes place 50 years prior to Katniss's Hunger Games, and I'm so excited. I am thinking I might want to reread The Hunger Games maybe next month or something because I want to get reinvested into the world and re-familiarize myself with it before I go into this other book, which I believe is supposed to be shipping out May 19th according to Barnes & Noble, but we'll see because there have been shipping delays, obviously, but I will be excited to finally get that book. And I will let you guys know what I think of it when I read it. But anyway, I'm going to stop the vlog here so I can go ahead and edit it and then continue reading a little bit. So I will see you guys all later. Bye!